Welcome back. Well, we have seen some incredible performances and storylines in this World Cup, particularly from some of these African nations. This is the South African team celebrating. They are advancing to their first knockout stage in the World Cup after their first win. They win 3-2 over Italy. Scenes you absolutely love to see. And uh, right now, we are very pleased to bring in our good friend, Imbizo Zamane, who is an expert in all things African soccer. First of all, and Bezo, it is so great to see you. How are you doing today? I am fantastic on this <laughs> momentous occasion. <laughs> <laughs> it is a momentous occasion. Can you talk about the scenes that we just saw from the South African team, um, what they have achieved in this World Cup? What does it feel like watching those moments for you? I mean, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. And, and, and of course, we hope this transforms the perspective on women's football in the nation. Uh, everyone is absolutely delighted. Everyone is behind the team uh, to, to come from the history that South Africa has had, very recent history, by the way, um, to, to, to dominate the world, we feel, mm -hmm. in this way in football. It's just absolutely fantastic. And, and we're all absolutely buzzing. What were the expectations in Bizo for, for this South African team to, to achieve this feat? I'm not sure that uh, people would have universally thought um, South Africa would progress from this group. I mean, uh, not, not, a, not an easy group, certainly. Um, but uh, we, we, we definitely expected them to compete. I mean, South Africa has some talented players. Um, but this, this is certainly, uh, I think we consider it an overachievement. But it's, it's a testament to the potential that the nation has moving forward in women's football. By the way, sick kid. It's, uh, two, it must be 2010, right? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Nice. It's, a, it's a throwback. You just have that Beautiful. in your brain. You uh, just know. Yeah, you can because pull that the, like, uh, the idea of this campaign, it looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bizo, you talked about players on the South African squad. We've got to talk about my girl, Tembi Katlana, in NWSL. She tore her ACL just a year, I mean, her Achilles tendon a year ago, and she has come back looking better than before. How much has her performance on the world stage really proven what she can do um, it, for this South African team? I mean, what's obvious is that she's, she's absolutely key. Uh, and, and just her presence, I think, uh, uplifted uh, the rest of the squad and, of course, uh, uplifts the nation. Um, and, and so we're absolutely delighted that she was able to be to back and to be at this peak uh, performance uh, and to be a part of this this history being made uh, by Banyana Banyana. I want to ask a little bit about the, the some of the troubles that they had coming in. They're obviously not the only ones. Um, does this maybe change uh, how how backed they are by the federation or how much support this women's team can get? Because it always feels like qualifying out of one of these group stages sort of it lifts the spirits of the fans of the players. But does it change what happens behind the scenes? Well, we absolutely hope so. We absolutely hope so. Obviously, um, their difficulties, as you mentioned, uh, is a pattern that's been displayed uh, with a number of FAs, uh, including, of course, uh, uh, Canada, um, you know, Spain, uh, France, a lot of other teams, Nigeria as well, have had some difficulties with their FA, Jamaica. Uh, and so we're hoping that this will demonstrate, if they weren't... Um, if they didn't have a right to this, these monies before and the sort of the treatment that professionals, uh, internationals should be getting, then certainly they are now um, as the pride of the nation. Uh, in fact, I might suggest that uh, Bafana Bafana's monies be diverted to Banyana Banyana <laughs> because the performances have absolutely been spectacular and, uh, and unexpected. But, um, you know, this is a debacle that should be sorted out, and I think uh, it's important that Safa understands uh, the value of, of women's football um, at, at every level, not just at the top level, but even at, at grassroots. And Biza, let's, uh, let's turn our attention to another team that you mentioned, Nigeria, who have also advanced to the group stage. They had that thrilling win over Australia, the host nation. Uh, but this is interesting because this was a campaign, as you mentioned, that, that almost didn't even get off the ground. The fact that they're even playing in this World Cup is fairly remarkable. They were going to potentially boycott their, their first match. Can you kind of shed some light on the struggles that this Nigerian side faced even getting to this tournament? 
Yes, absolutely. There were, there were a number of, uh, of problems in their in their preparations. Uh, Rand Waldrum had uh, criticized the NFF for what he believed was uh, some, some very frugal spending. Um, and, and he feels that they didn't have necessary preparations, inadequate camping, unpaid wages, uh, poor travel arrangements, and, and so on and so forth. That uh, He himself claims that he had uh, a seven-month salary backlog. So there was a lot of uh, difficulties. Uh, and as you said, they considered uh, a boycott. Um, but it looks like things were, were sort of sorted out for now, for the time being. Uh, and moving forward, they're going to want to um, settle a, a few other issues. However, um, they were just uh, awarded some monies from FIFA directly, which is for the first time in history has happened in Nigeria. So they've, have to, uh, they've had to overcome quite a bit, um, but they've, they've done so. And of course, they've performed uh, extremely admirably. We were talking a little bit about some of these countries. You mentioned another uh, nation that has, uh, you know, suffered a little bit on their way to the tournament. But quick reaction, you know, just before uh, you came on with us, it looks like Jamaica knocks out Brazil, yes. qualifies for the knockout stages. Can I get your quick hot take reaction to this? I mean, this this was uh, this was an FA that was on the brink of of not existing anymore, uh, you know. And uh, Sidella Marley, uh, Bob Marley's daughter, uh, came in with her passion that was passed down to her by her father. Uh, came in and 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 took care of this team, raised some money through through quite a number of of initiatives, uh, concerts, world tours, uh, and she got them back on track. She funded so much, uh, and she's really a, a hero for the federation. Uh, and as you can see, Jamaica has taken that opportunity and have pushed forward. And I think this should also help transform uh, the vision of the game, of the women's game in Jamaica as well, and hopefully across the Caribbean and across the world. Do you feel like having 32 teams at this World Cup is really going to be a launching off point for nations to say, hey, the talent across the world, the way that these teams can play, everybody can compete at this world level. Let's invest a little bit more and think about what we could do. Do you feel like this is going to be a good push for some of these nations that are in question? Absolutely. I mean, the only way you can grow uh, is through these kinds of exposures, is to understand what is what is uh, requisite at this level. And I think including some teams who you may have uh, raised some eyebrows before, I think is extremely important for the growth of the game. Uh, of course, the men's game is even expanding the number of teams that will be in the World Cup. Uh, and so I think it's a natural progression and it's a necessary progression to ensure that, uh, you know, uh, this World Cup is inclusive and that the game grows across the globe. Absolutely. All right, before we say goodbye to Mbizo, I kind of want to do something collectively uh, mm. because I was inspired by his kit. So you guys want to follow me? I want to do an iconic celebration. Maybe he, he sees what it is. Ready? Okay. You guys follow me. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> and then go around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you, you prepped yourself. You moved yourself out. <laughs> we love it. Oh. And Bizo, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Always a pleasure to catch up with you. Absolutely, folks. The pleasure is all mine.